Hi everyone, thanks for popping in again. If you've watched previous videos, um, we're going to use a lot of flat brushes today, a lot of used strokes, and today we're going to do a cute little pig. So, as before, I'm going to dive right in. I'm not going to draw it with a pencil. I'm going to go right on the canvas with my flat brush. These are acrylic paints. And you can see I primed my canvas with red. And this will kind of peek through in certain places. But most of it's going to get covered up. So I'm going to just go right ahead and do my little pig right on the board. And you can practice your shapes on a piece of paper first to get comfortable. little piggy is going to have his feet over a railing here. Maybe a fence post. Now while I have this blue on the brush, I'm going to create my shadow areas. You always have light and dark to create form. And when you do this, do wet on wet and some of this shadow will come, in, come through. Slapping it in there. Now I want to create the light areas. So my shadow is here. That means the light's coming from this direction. Well, I'm going to use yellow for my light. So it's the opposite side. So let that dry just a little bit. And I'll do put my background in. Let's go around those shapes. And kind of let some of that red peek through there. You don't worry about covering it all up. off that bottom. Next, I will do the 
the little railing where his feet are. Because a lot of times you want to go on top of your colors. So since the railing is behind the little pig's feet, I'm going to do that first. And I put two colors on my brush, a light dark and a, a light brown and a dark brown. And they're going to kind of blend together as I stroke these through. And I'm going horizontally so that it looks like that's the way the railing or the wood in the railing is. I'm going to put in the little pink for the ears. My light's coming from this way, so it would kind of be lighter down here because this would this would be under the flap, so it would be darker up on the top of his ear. So into the dark, and kind of just. Let the brush put in the marks. Do the same with the little nose, light on this side, dark on this side. And this yellow is real wet yet, but it'll blend together as you just touch it with the brush. Just kind of play around with it till you're happy with how the paint has gone on for you. Now his little feet again are kind of behind his head. So I'm going to put those in first. Yeah, I'm kind of leaving some of that, those other colors showing through. Well, I got that black on my brush. I'm just going to slap in those nostrils. And now we'll do the face. And again, light side, dark side. So I've got two colors on my palette. With the light. And dark over here. It's just a little bit darker shade. 
And if you don't have two colors of this, you can always add white or black to lighten or darken your paints. You can see I kind of use my stroke of my brush in the direction that I want the shape to be. Still leaving some of that red showing. Trying to give him a little bit of, give him or her a little bit of a double chin there. Now I'm going to go in with my tiny little liner brush and put in some details. And this is where the personality comes in a little bit. Pigs have little eyes. And maybe a little eyebrow. Let's give him a little double chin. Because pigs are fat. Put a little detail on your railing here. Make it look like wood. And now again with the liner brush, I'm going into white. And I'm just going to add some highlights and stuff. So a little highlight on his lip. Maybe some shine on his hoofs. And of course, we have to have a little sparkle in the eye. So very lightly touch a little sparkle here. And I think we'll call this little piggy done. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe to keep these videos coming. And be safe, everyone.